Hello everyone. Today in this particular video, let me explain you a concept about eye cell disease. Eye cell disease is an inclusion cell disease. So before I start explaining you eye cell disease, so let me give you a brief introduction why eye cell disease will occur and what is the biochemical basis behind that. In order to understand the biochemical basis, I need to tell you normal biochemical function and then explain you what if something goes wrong with that and why eye cell disease occurs. Okay? So in order to understand that, so we need to know uh, chemical markers. Whenever a new protein is synthesized, which is destined to go to some other subcellular organelles or to extracellular matrix, it needs a chemical marker. Okay, so consider that protein is synthesized over rough endoplasmic reticulum and it, it, it has to go to mitochondria or it has to go to nucleus, it has to go to the cell membrane, it has to go to the peroxisome, how it's going to reach there? So there is a chemical marker for all of these proteins. Okay, and based on that chemical marker, they will be taken to their specific target organelle or type specific uh, location. Now, such target molecule or such chemical uh, marker for a protein which is meant to go to lysosome is MANO6 phosphate. So for peroxisomes, we have peroxisomal targeting sequence. For endoplasmic reticulum, so we have signal peptide. For lumen of endoplasmic reticulum, we have KDLE sequence. For nucleus, we have nuclear localization signal. Like this, for lysosomes, we have MANO6 phosphate which is a tag or a chemical marker. It's like your PO box number. If any protein which has got MANO6 phosphate, it has been addressed to go to lysosome. Okay. Now, my protein of interest, it, it has to be taken into lysosome. So, this is my protein here. And already it has got MANOs on its surface, which is added in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. Now it has to go to lysosome. For that, it should have mannose phosphorylated at sixth carbon. Which enzyme is going to do that? So protein with the mannose, it will be converted to protein, mannose and protein mannose six phosphate. It will be phosphorylated at the sixth position, but it will be attached with GLCNAC, that is N-acetyl glucosamine. Okay? Now, this particular reaction, it will be catalyzed by glucnac phosphotransferase. Glucnac phosphotransferase, it is going to catalyze combination of Protein with mannose plus UTP, sorry, UDP glucnac, uridine diphosphate glucnac and protein with mannose. So it will be condensed. Glucnac, UDP glucnac will be condensed with this mannose by glucnac phosphotransferase. You got protein attached to the mannose, sixth at the sixth carbon, you have glucnac plus and glucnac, so there will be phosphate here, at 6 carbon there is phosphate and then glucnac plus UMP is released. Now UDP is released as UMP and one of the phosphate present in UDP is attached to the 6th carbon of mannose but there is a glucnac attached to it also. We don't want this glucnac, we just want protein with mannose 6 phosphate. And that will be done further by phosphodiesterase enzyme. So here is your protein with mannose 6-phosphate but GLC-NAC that is glucnac still attached. Now it will be converted into protein mannose 6-phosphate plus GLC-NAC that is glucnac. This job is done by another enzyme called Phosphodiesterase. Phosphodiesterase. Now, with the help of two enzymes, one is glucnac phosphotransferase and phosphodiesterase, at the end, 
you are able to make attached 6 phosphate to the mannose residue of your protein and this is the chemical mar marker that is mannose 6 phosphate is a chemical marker now this particular protein is now destined to go to lysosome now let's come to the eye cell disease what's the problem in eye cell disease in eye cell disease the gene that is coding for glucnac phosphotransferase enzyme is defective means it is a mutated gene it means a uh, glucnac phosphotransferase enzyme is defective and it is not able to add mannose 6-phosphate glucnac to a protein which is meant to go to lysosome okay because of this what happens so your protein is already there in the endlumen of endoplasmic reticulum and it is not phosphorylated at the 6th position of mannose so if the tagging is the not there if the chemical marker mannose 6-phosphate is not added because there is defective glucnac phosphotransferase which is may be absent it may be defective so in the absence of mannose 6-phosphate this particular protein instead of going to lysosome now if it has got mannose 6-phosphate it will go to lysosome if it doesn't will go to lysosome if it doesn't have mannose 6-phosphate then by default if the mannose 6-phosphate is not there by default it will go to extracellular matrix if it is not phosphorylated it will go to extracellular matrix if it is phosphorylated like 6-phosphate it will go to lysosome now in ISA this is what happens glucnac phosphotransferase is defective it is not adding 6 phosph phosphate at the 6th position of mannose it means by default it will go into the extracellular matrix that protein these are the lysosomal enzymes go to the extracellular matrix from extracellular matrix they will be taken into plasma so it means in eye cell disease there is elevation of lysosomal enzymes in the plasma there is increase in lysosomal enzymes in plasma remember this there is increase in lysosomal enzymes in the plasma and absence of absence of lysosomal enzymes in lysosomes so it means you don't have lysosomal enzymes in lysosomes but you have plenty of lysosomal enzymes in the plasma this is one of the major sign that you see in eye cell disease laboratory sign now you don't have lysosomal enzymes in the lysosome what is the function of lysosome normal function of lysosome lysosome is meant to degrade start means mean to degrade glycogen it is meant to degrade protein it is meant to degrade lipids it is meant to degrade nucleic acid all the things that need to be degraded will be dumped into lysosomes and we have all these acid stable lysosomal enzymes in the lysosome and they all need to come there by having mannose 6-phosphate target mole, means chemical marker if you don't have mannose 6-phosphate being added onto these proteins they all by default will be reaching plasma their levels will be increased in plasma rather than in the lysosomes now you have absence of lysosomal enzymes in the uh, lysosomes but they are present in the plasma but note that plasma has got a pH of 7.35 to 7.45 these lysosomal enzymes are active in acidic pH so although they do not have optimal activity but still they, retain, they may retain some activity in the plasma and try to degrade some of the proteins there that can give rise to our disorders and also because you have absence of lysosomal enzymes in the lysosome itself and that itself lead to accumulation of all kinds of material in the lysosome so there will be accumulation of glycogen accumulation of glycosaminoglycons proteoglycons accumulation of lipids accumulation of nucleic acids proteins all of them will be accumulated in the lysosomes itself and we refer though that material in the lysosome as inclusion bodies inclusion bodies and because these inclusion bodies are accumulated in the lysosome that is why the name of this dis this particular disorder is referred as eye cell disease eye cell disease is basically i for inclusion cell disease inclusion bodies are present there now 
as i told you before all kinds of materials are accumulated in this particular disease that is why if you use uh, stains for different materials all of them will come positive it means high cell disease will stain for pas positive pas positive material will be present pas for it is a carbohydrate staining material that is pyruvic acid skiff stain positive and sudan black b sudan black b material is for lipid so lipids are coming positive if you stain for protein like ninhydrin using ninhydrin stain it comes out positive if you stain for nucleic acid it also comes out positive it means all kinds of material accumulated in eye cell disease and that's one of the clue to go for eye cell disease and if you see inclusion body is staining with all kinds of material being positive here that's a indication of eye cell disease so there, there are two laboratory uh, key, uh, features which will help you in diagnosis one is increase in lysosomal enzymes in the plasma and absence of those enzymes in the lysosome and then staining material pas positive sudan black b positive will give you a laboratory indication that that can be an eye cell disease now coming to the clinical features clinical features of eye cell disease will be exactly similar to that of harler syndrome this one is the differential diagnosis for eye cell disease you really need to remember so harler syndrome i have given or uh, explained about harler syndrome in my previous video so it is appearing on top right now and uh, in the link is appearing uh, or right corner right now so harler syndrome is a dysmorphic disorder like facial dysmorphism is seen so you'll see a uh, proptotic eyeball so you'll see a saddle nose deformity bossing of the frontal bones partially opened mouth and then the macroglossia is seen everted ears can be seen and also short neck can be seen in harler syndrome all those signs you can see in eye cell disease also and also harler syndrome patients will have cardiomyopathy cardiac failure that you can see in eye cell disease also patients with uh, harler syndrome will have abdominal protuberant abdomen because of the hepatosplenomegaly that you can see here in eye cell disease also so the patient may have umbilical hernia in eye cell disease in harler syndrome also you may see that and also patient there may be contracture of the joints that can be seen in eye cell disease so it means overall signs and symptoms that are seen in eye cell disease they are very similar to harler syndrome now how to differentiate harler syndrome from eye cell disease look for these two signs that i told you one is look for increase in lysosomal enzymes in the plasma absence of them in the lysosome second thing is look for the staining material in the tissue pas positive sudan black b positive go for eye cell disease and in harler syndrome accumulation of glycosaminoglycans is found in lysosomes means it's a pas positive only it is not sudan black b positive okay so with these points you should be able to identify or differentiate eye cell disease and harler syndrome okay so that's all about eye cell disease thanks for watching